Welcome. Fun. Hope you're having a great day. I am. You are. I am. I am too. So far, this has been a great day. It's the promise of warmer weather. I know. 80 degrees. Yes. Holy cow. It just so puts you exciting. in a great mood. It does. Even just yeah. seeing and the promise of it is enough to put right. me in a good mood. <laughs> um, we should mention if you're watching us live on KDKA, we should say that CBS. Maybe breaking in with the release of the Mueller report. So we're going to try and get in as much as we can this morning. Just remember, you can always watch us at 1 p.m. on Pittsburgh CW. That's when we rebroadcast. Yeah, so we're expecting maybe around 930, but we're not sure. Possibly. So stay with us, and you can always uh, watch the show at 1 o'clock on the CW. And we have some great we guests do. today. Singer Jackie Ivanko, she's going to sing a song that really touched you in Hamilton, right? You it's, love that. Burn, yes. And uh, we're excited to hear her sing it. But this was a moment for you in Hamilton, it right? It was. Well, this is one of those moments. My husband's like the manly man. He doesn't really cry, you know. And so we're we're in the theater watching Hamilton for the first time. And as soon as the song comes on, I start ugly crying. But it's one of those things where you don't want anybody to know that you're crying. So you wind up doing really weird things with your face. As you try to hold it in. And so there's snot. See, and I'm trying I've to like. tried to do this to, too. Because you know. I do cry. I get emotional uh -huh. when I see a show and uh -huh. you know, and music speaks to me. I cry. And, and when you try to hold it in, it's only worse. It, it does get worse. Yeah. So I, if people saw Heather in the theater, crying. that's what was going on. <laughs> you, I feel like you're hoping that I ugly cry again today. We're going to see because it's very dramatic. We will see. Well, I watched her video. Mm -hmm. And it is powerful. It is powerful. She's she's so talented. Well, you all yeah, know that. Yes. I do feel like today's show is very much like a really great party because yeah. we have music, we have food, we and have we have food. booze. We got it all covered. <laughs> we, we have got it everything. covered for you. That's what we do for you. Uh, <laughs> Chef Bill Fuller is coming along to to tell us uh, what to do with ham. Uh, leftovers, and he has some great ideas, and a few people will probably have some ham leftovers after the weekend. And you and Selena are going to be partaking in happy hour with Wiggle Whiskey. Right, they're setting up right across the studio here, and I'm very excited about that. So we will talk to them. I'm excited uh, about for you. all of that, I'm and we will so be also be checking out a fun party tonight at the Carnegie Museum of Art. So we have all of that coming up. It's going to be great. Um, before we really get started, we want to show you something. Howard Bender reached out for us. This, this man is an artist, I, as you this. can tell. He's best known for his work. Uh, with DC Comics and Archie Comics, but he's also a caricature artist. Yeah, he says he watches the show, he loves the show, so he posted this on Facebook, and we had to share it because we just thought, this is incredible. We love this. So thank you very much, Howard. And, I, I, and he's from Pittsburgh. Yeah, it looks like you're holding a donut. I am holding a donut. <laughs> we need to talk, Howard. No, he knows how much I love food. I so love I'm, donuts, too. I'm, I'm Maybe not you're, mad about yeah, it. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> And right now, it's better than me holding a glass of wiggle whiskey. Oh, no, that would not be appropriate car. in your current state. No, it no. would not. Okay. It would not. Um, so we saw this on Twitter circulating. A lot of people were talking about this. What advice your parents gave you that you still live by today? Do you have something? There's so much. Yeah. Like, when you mentioned this, it was really hard for me to pick something. Because I remember very specific lines from both my mom and dad. Mm -hmm. And I think the earliest thing I remember is my mom. And it's I think it's the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have others do unto you. Like, treat yeah. others the way you would want to be treated. And I remember her telling me that very early on. So I try to follow that. So, um, so for my mom, she used to always just tell me to keep my head held high. Yeah. So, you know, if Good anything advice. was getting me down or, you know. Sometimes girls can be catty in middle and high school. So, you know, you go into school and you're kind of like worried about what's going to happen. And she would just say, just keep your head held high. And then she always used to tell me to, to just blame her. Oh. You know, if I didn't want to go somewhere or didn't want to do something, she'd right. just blame me. Oh, that's good advice. No one can argue with that. Blame Heather's mom. <laughs> blame, it's really blame Heather's mom. mom's fault. Yes. And then my dad, when I was learning how to drive, I remember him telling me, when you're driving next to a tractor trailer, don't look at it. Oh. That is good advice. I hadn't thought about that, but if, so, just, if you start looking at the tractor trailer, you're not going to, that, that not even actually, like, that may be the most important <laughs> piece of advice we have for you today. Don't look at the, the tractor trailer driving beside you. Right. You know, I think it was just to keep me calm when you're on the highway. Just yes. don't, don't turn your head. Don't well, feel yeah, like you're, you keep know, your don't eyes nervous. right. Yeah. In, yeah. Don't look at it. So. We'll be asking our guests today, too, so for all of our guest listeners. Yeah, I think it'll be a fun thing to find out from all our guests we today. We should reach out to our viewers, too, on social media. Yeah, let us know. Tell us on Facebook and Twitter what uh, what advice you follow from your parents that you remember. So you are on track trying to find all of the national holidays for us every day. I, I Google this every day, like, well, what is today? National whatever day. And, you know, you wonder how some of these come to be. But 
This was a fun one. So it is National Animal Cracker Day. And Heather has the perfect way to celebrate. When you brought this up, I said, there's a national day. Well, of course there's a national Come day on for in, animal Darryl. crackers. So Daryl is bringing in. <laughs> this is. Heather happened to have this giant tub of animal I have crackers. Two children. Yes. <laughs> and Look, me. I could very well own this tub, and I have no children. So. Yeah. Because I love animal crackers. Okay, so this brings up a point. We had a discussion. We always have a meeting in Jill's office every day. Yes, we do. And we wind up having and we very laugh way too much. We do. Uh, one of the conversations that came up is: Do you before you eat it? Do you look to see what it is? Sometimes yeah. you can't tell. And then, is there a way to eat them? Right. Is there a proper way to eat animal crackers? See, I just sort of. I bite in half and I don't really worry about, you so you know. You don't even look at it. You just pop it in. Yeah, know. yeah. Okay. What do you do? Uh, you have a I technique? Do, I do like to see sometimes like, oh, it's a camel. Okay. And then I usually wind up biting off extremities. <laughs> it, it depends. Sometimes there are no feet. Like if well, it's, and you can know. you always tell what they are? The, no. These ones are actually pretty good because I can tell what these are. But Is some of them, you know. Rhino what? maybe? Is that a rhino? Maybe it's a rhino. It's yeah, fun actually, to guess, I don't though. know that one. Yeah. Um, but it turns out that uh, the history of animal crackers, apparently they came from England. They were reported or imported from England, uh, but you know. In the 1800s. Yeah, now the they 1800s. are a staple in every household with children and beyond. I had to eat one. Um, today is also National High Five Day, so give me one. Woo! Don't leave anybody hanging today. Never leave anybody hanging. And if you see Jeff Roop, our photographer for Pittsburgh Today Live out there, make sure to give him a high five because it is his birthday. It is Jeff Roop's birthday. Happy birthday, Jeff. Oh, yeah. and look at him. And those brownies, courtesy of Jill. Yeah, Jill brought it in to celebrate his birthday. Okay. And you know, and Jeff tells me that the, so we have some resemblance. Like we could at least maybe be brothers. Yeah, but Jeff I see tells it. me when he's out in a KDK vehicle or the PTL vehicle, Katie, as we call her now, um, that people sometimes say, hey, David Highfield. So does he take uh, advantage of it? He, well, I don't think he's he he signing your autograph. I don't, for people? I don't <laughs> think that's the case, but I always tell him behave <laughs> like don't be out dancing on tables or something because people are going to think that's David Highfield. He's gone nuts. He's dancing on tables. I've seen that happen. So no. I know you're capable of it. No, <laughs> no. I haven't. Uh, well, we were talking. <laughs> and Jeff wouldn't do that either. I'm just I'm just kidding. We were joking about well, not joking, but talking about the warmer weather as we started the show today. And it reminds me so much that summer is coming and yeah. we, we have a great summer lineup. Up for us. There is so much going on. Kennywood, of course, the uh, new steel curtain uh, roller coaster is going to open up. And uh, just yesterday, Kennywood was given a designation, uh, right? They were, and this this is just so incredible. So they are now designated as a certified autism center. So what this means basically is that 80% of the staff there are trained to interact with someone with autism. If you'd like to find out more information about that, when you go to Kennywood, there are uh, offices and booths there right before you go through the ticketing, the gates there. So you can find out more information if parents are. Yeah, good any for other. them to get the people trained there, the staff trained. And then earlier this week, <clears throat> Three Rivers Arts Festival announced their lineup: 85 bands, including 85 bands. That's a lot. India Ari is coming. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, it's just so exciting. That's June 7th through the 16th. Hopefully yeah. it doesn't rain. And I always love that because <laughs> it's right outside our station. So it's literally like we're in the middle of the party. So we're going to bring you lots of that on PTL as well. well. And you can leave too and go get some lunch. You can. You, <laughs> right? you can get different lunch that's fun. Yeah. Everybody talks about it. Did you stop by this truck? Did you stop by that tent? <laughs> Yeah, it's a we'll lot We'll sample of fun. a little of everything. <laughs> also, Picklesburg, another big event that is getting bigger every year. And this year, I have heard it's supposed to be double in size. Mm -hmm. It's really reaching out beyond the bridge at this point. That comes up in uh, late July. Okay, no, note to self, do not bring a stroller. Did that last year. Doesn't work Does it? <laughs> on the Clemente Bridge. I've been trying it's to a few encourage too many them people. Yet to use the, uh, the Liberty Bridge. I feel like oh. it's, it's big enough. For yeah. something like Picklesburg, yeah. but they have not taken my advice. Well, yet. they are expanding, and, mm -hmm. and you know, and and Fort Duquesne Boulevard, so it's going to really expand out. So yeah. I know it's so it's there might be room the for a stroller side. now. Possibly, yes. which is good news. That's July 26th <laughs> through the 28th, and then something that I'm excited about for my girl Sesame Street is on a 10 city tour coming up this summer and they'll be coming to Pittsburgh as one of their 10 cities June 13th through the 15th. This is free this three day festival that they're having. We're going to have more information for you on how you can register. So that's a must. You must register for that. Yeah, and what I love about that is it's not just a show. It's it's a street right. fair it's where a fair. it's very interactive yes. and I think that could be a lot of fun for kids. It's going to be great.
Oh, so we have such a good hour. We're going to take a break because we have a lot to get to, and we are excited to talk with our first guest, singer Jackie Ivanko. Absolutely. A world sensation when she was just 10 years old, appearing on America's Got Talent. Well, she has moved way past child prodigy vocalist to a young woman of 19 with a string of platinum and gold albums and sales over 3 million in the U.S. She's now matching her incredible voice with some of the most exciting music to come out of the new American songbook, we will talk with Pittsburgh native Jackie Ivanko about her new album and hear a song from it that is coming up next here on PTL and hopefully Heather holds it together. I, I hope so, <laughs> although you're encouraging the ugly crying. We're also in the kitchen this hour cooking up something good with Chef Bill Fuller. Stay with us for his plan on what to do with leftover Easter ham. You know you're going to have it, so mm -hmm. see what to do with it. Plus, it's 5 o'clock somewhere, right? <laughs> We're trying some new cocktails from Wiggle Whiskey celebrate or created to celebrate the spring opening of the Wiggle Barrel House and Whiskey Garden. Stay with us for that and a whole lot more. We're just getting started.